At this small pond in Bow, it's easy to see the effects of the drought. Normally at this time of year, the water level would be up to that ridge. The latest drought map is basically unchanged from a week ago, and officials who monitor the situation continue to be concerned. There's a possibility that we're looking at an extended drought, or, and the 90-day forecast right now says we could be headed into drought towards the end of January. Many rivers and streams around the state are running below normal, and groundwater levels remain a particular worry. For example, in Concord, we've dropped in the last 30 days about a quarter of a foot. Uh, to that, to a groundwater hydrogeologist, that's a lot. To help those impacted in their homes by the drought, the state does have an assistance program. We had delivered bottled water to this person who'd been on a, on a dry well uh, for months. And in some cases, the state will help cover the cost of deepening the well. One thing officials are continuing to stress is the need for conservation within the home. Check those leaking toilets, check those leaking lines. Don't run water lines to keep them from freezing in the wintertime. We need to begin to think really long term. The drought map next week is expected to show the drought increasing. That is unless we get several inches of rain, and right now that's not in the forecast. In Bow, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.